you guys welcome back to my channel if you guys are new my name is Lorraine Aguirre and I post here on my YouTube channel every Monday and Saturday how are you guys so we are going to be getting in to this tutorial we are using number 54 from Colorland Gels and the acrylic that I already have on my nails is actually M17 Candy Yum Yum by Not Polish so if you guys are looking for a pretty, pretty light pink, I feel like this is a good pink for like baby showers, um, Valentine's Day, or if you just have clients that are super, super girly, I feel like this is something I would recommend um, because it's nice, light, and pink and subtle. And I feel like you guys, any colors like this, I recommend just because it is super light and you're able to put colors over it. So if you guys do work with gel polish and things like that, it is actually easy, really easy to cover this color. But for today, we are actually just going to be decorating these nails. I wanted to do some flames. Nails by Fabi. She ended up actually doing this a set, not exactly like this, but it was on her live, and I thought it was so beautiful. So I was like, you know what? Let me try it. She ended up doing the flames, and she actually outlined the flames as well um, with it was a brown set, and then she ended up doing. Um, an outline of another nude on the outside of the brown and honestly you guys I felt like it looked so bomb so honestly if you guys are looking to be inspired by some nail art definitely recommend checking out her Instagram just because she has a lot of fun things on there so I am going to be using this liner brush I recommend something really really small and detailed um, just because I, I feel like sometimes using a bigger brush might end up making the design a little bit too big especially if you're you work with like smaller nails and stuff I definitely recommend getting some detailer brushes but I am just going to use this one and I am just going to go ahead and fill this in do the outline and then sorry you guys I like to keep these in frame or keep these in the video so you guys can kind of see how I angle my hand. Uh, when I'm doing designs I do like to angle them a lot of different ways just because it allows me to see if there is anything wrong with the nails. But if you guys don't follow me on Instagram definitely recommend following me on there just because I'm super excited to tell you guys I finally got my Koopa Manny Pro Passport back. It just got repaired out of the shop so if you guys had seen that on my story that was actually the day. I know this video is going to be up after so you guys will see this later on but honestly you guys I'm so excited to have it back. And if you guys don't follow me already on Instagram, make sure to do so just because I am actually posting a lot of Valentine's Day inspo a lot earlier. So definitely recommend checking it out just because I am, some of it is not exactly, exactly um, Valentine's Day, but it's Valentine's Day inspired. Or, inspired. <laughs> so definitely recommend checking that out if you guys haven't already followed me. I've been trying to up my content and be up on my game. So definitely let me know how I'm doing. If I'm doing bad or if there's some things that you guys would like to see more of, definitely let me know. And if there is any updates and things like that, definitely recommend checking out my stories just because usually... Everything is there in my stories. But yeah, so I did decide I was going to be doing another flame art on the other one. And then I wanted to do some checkered nails. And you guys, you guys might have seen my last few posts. It has been these pink nails. But honestly, you guys, I am obsessed. I definitely recommend getting this acrylic. This acrylic is my favorite acrylic. So if you guys are looking to create more and more content, I know with sometimes creating nails and things like that, it is really hard to get a lot of content out there. So sometimes I will use the same set when it is fresh because it allows me to kind of just not have to rebuild the acrylic over just because otherwise I would be sitting for hours and hours just making each set. So definitely if you guys have time to make some some plain ones like this I definitely recommend that just because I actually do the pop off method so you guys might see this set in a couple of other videos let me know if you guys actually like these videos of me recreating these sets but yeah so um I feel like it just allows me to be able to put more content out there for my followers and things like that 
And you know, when you have kids, it is very, very hard to find the time to really do anything. So I do want to be able to share some things with you or things that I've been inspired by. So again, this set was inspired by Fabi's Nails. And you guys could see that I was actually trying to replicate how she did the outline on the flames. And you guys... Fabi made this look so easy, so I was like, you know what, Fabi can do it, I can do it. And you guys, she is a master at art because she made, if you guys were on her live, you guys would see that she made it look so freaking easy and this is a lot harder than what it looks. I feel like with me, honestly, I felt like I was struggling and she just would just brush it on like she was just brushing on polish so honestly you guys definitely recommend checking out Fabi she is an amazing nail artist she is someone that I followed for a really really long time and um I have been inspired by her so if you guys do see this set on my Instagram definitely check out the description just because I will actually have her link down there but I ended up forgetting of or I didn't want to do the outline just because I wasn't liking the way my outline was coming out I tried it several different times off camera and it was just not working out so um I did want to do some checkers on this pinky and I thought it would look super super cute so of course I'm gonna go ahead and do so and I'm just gonna go ahead and map it out I'm gonna do the lines as thin as possible just because I want them I feel like the thicker you apply the gel, the thicker the line, it ends up actually looking, um, how do I say, like, um, it ends up looking like the checkers are staggered, so as thin as the lines you could get them, definitely recommend doing that just because it gives more of that checkered like pattern. So and then now I'm just going to go ahead and fill these in. And I am using that same paint. The paint is number 54. I know at the beginning of the video I did end up showing you guys that other pink. But that other pink is one that I thought I was going to use. But as soon as I started applying it, it actually was way too light for these nails. And I wanted some contrast. I wanted the nails to pop a little bit more. And this is kind of more of like a bright neon kind of color. I know it doesn't seem like that on the nails. But I promise you guys it is pretty bright but if you guys do want something even brighter than that number 55 it's called dramatic from colorland gels that one is more of a neon fluorescent type and if you want to be glowing in a black light definitely recommend checking that one out just because these ones are a very very uh kind of like bright neon type of color and I am going to be using this super, super tiny brush to fill in. I feel like using a small brush like this is actually so much easier for me. Um, just because it allows me to get in the little areas. And sometimes I feel like when I am using a longer brush, I do feel like it kind of makes it a little bit harder. And this is kind of just more of a pencil and like filling it in and whatnot but I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys watch and see how I create these nails and yeah let me know down below if you guys have any questions or concerns I would be more than happy to help you guys all right and before I forget um I wanted to tell you guys thank you thank you thank you for everyone who had entered the giveaway um, next time I am actually going to be doing the giveaway completely different just because there was some technical difficulties with it. I don't know what's happened, but I guess, um, YouTube does not like it if you put your Instagram names down below. So I don't know whatever happened. A lot of the comments got deleted. So honestly, I'm so sorry about that. That is something that I did not know, um, but I will. I promise I will do better next time. But I did end up choosing a winner. I put all the names in a hat and I drew the name. And Michelle Richardson, you are the giveaway winner. So make sure to DM me. And or if I don't end up hearing something from you, I will try to find your Instagram name on here. Or if you guys know who she is, make sure to tag her. Let her know that she won the giveaway. So... I hope you guys really enjoyed the giveaway, you guys. It's something that I want to do more of. I just really want to give back to you guys because I am so thankful for you guys to just be engaging and 
I'm glad that you guys are learning something from the content that I am creating. And yeah, you guys, and if you guys any tried any of the products that I have recommended on my page, I am glad. I hope you guys love them just as much as I do, just because I know with me when I first started out trying new products and things like that, it was something that was, I don't know, like it was... It was hard to try and pick out different things because I was scared about wasting my money on certain things and especially being a beginner in nail tech and not having that much money to be spending like that and um, I don't know, it, every penny that went to certain things, it was very precious to me. So with that means I want to be able to give back to you guys and give more to you guys, especially for these beginner nail techs that are starting out. I know when you're more of established nail tech, it is easier for you to get things and, and, um, I don't know, just build your things because it's like you already have that clientele. When you guys are a beginner, it is a little bit harder. So I do want to cater to them and cater to this more established ones too so if i'm able to get some fun stuff and stock up on some things i will let you guys know and i will be sharing more with you guys i hope you guys really enjoyed this video because we are pretty much done with the set we are going to be putting mats on these nails and i kind of want to update you guys a little bit too on the mat that I am about to use for this set because I know when I did my mat review I uh, this one wasn't my favorite and it was the Tracy's nails the colorland one and don't get me wrong I love 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 her product and I love her top coat oh my gosh you guys if you guys want a bomb top coat definitely recommend checking out colorland gel top coat it is so shiny your clients will come back with their nails super shiny and they love that they love making sure that their nails are on point i have some people that they work at amazon and things like that and they come back and they work with boxes all day and their nails still look bomb so honestly you guys um if you guys are struggling with their nails staying shiny even when they come back definitely recommend trying out that one but anyways to go back to what i was talking about i am going to be using her top coat and for the mat and honestly you guys i'm actually pretty impressed with it um again when i was watching fabi's nails on tiktok her live uh she had actually mentioned that with certain top coats she says that all matte top coats are pretty much the same to her and she felt if there was because some people that were commenting down below like how come when I do matte, it is super streaky and it doesn't look right? It doesn't look as smooth and velvety like how it did in her video. And she had mentioned if you don't put a good amount of top coat on, you will experience that. So when I have been using this top coat, I have been putting a good amount on. She said don't be stingy with the top coat. So I haven't been. You guys could see that I applied a good amount on these nails. But again, you when you do that, you guys really want to make sure that you wipe the sides. And I do want to mention that that actually helped with this top coat. I do feel like you do need to apply it a little thicker. So if you guys have bought this top coat and you felt the same as me, definitely try it that way and see if that works for you. Because I know when you buy certain products and things like that, it sucks when you feel like your money is wasted. So I definitely recommend trying it again if you guys did end up buying this top coat and doing a little bit of a thicker coat. Um, but yeah, you guys, I hope you guys really enjoyed today's video. This is what the nails look like glossy. And then in just a second, you guys will be able to see what they look like matte. And if you guys want to see the final result, how I posed and did my pictures and what I paired it with, definitely recommend following me on Instagram. My Instagram handle will be down below in my link tree, so make sure to click on that link and I'll take you guys right to it. Or if you guys seen certain things in the video or on my Instagram, a lot of those things are also linked in my link tree. So definitely recommend checking that out as well. But as always, you guys, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel. And as always, I'll be back with more videos. Bye!